Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I have my girl Michaela here with me, and this is gonna be my spring hair series. So what I thought would be really cool to show you guys is how to do the mermaid fishtail braid. I've been seeing it a lot on um, Instagram and other YouTube channels, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my take on it. Let's go ahead and get started. So to start this look off, we are starting with dirty hair. If your hair isn't dirty, I definitely would suggest adding some kind of pomade in there and maybe going through with a flat iron. We want the hair to be really, really soft and really smooth, and um, we don't want a lot of flyaways in there. So Michaela has really limited layers, which is great for this hairstyle too. You don't wanna go ahead and do this style on someone that has a lot of layers because you won't be able to create that really nice mermaid fishtail braid. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna disregard some of the face um, framing layers because we need enough length to connect it into the back. So what I mean by that is we're just gonna take about a half an inch away from the hairline on each side, and this is gonna be our first section. We're gonna start her mermaid braid up pretty high up than what I've seen um, on YouTube, just because our hair is mid-length and I want it to be really dramatic. So now we have our two sections. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna just comb these guys. Okay, so now we're gonna just start a normal fishtail braiding technique. We wanna do this by taking a small piece of hair from the outside, crossing it over to the left, now taking a small piece of hair from our left side, crossing it over to the right. I'm just gonna do a couple passes just to connect this. Now we have one more little strand left. So now we have the start of our fishtail braid. Now what we wanna go ahead and do is add a little bit of hair into this. So we're gonna take a small section of hair, almost like a ribbon of hair underneath that first section, and we're just gonna cross it over, over to our left side. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and continue our fishtail braiding technique by taking a small piece of hair from the right, going up and over to our left. Small piece of hair from our left, go up and over to our right. We're just gonna do about four passes. Now we're gonna start adding a little bit more hair to it. So we're gonna take a small ribbon of hair underneath that first, or that second section cross it up and over to our left, and do the same thing on the opposite side. Now I'm gonna take a small piece of hair from our right side, go up and over to the left, because we wanna connect that section. Small piece of hair from our left, go up and over to our right. I'm gonna do about four passes on each side. Now we're gonna connect those, a little piece from our right up and over to the left, small piece of hair on the left up and over to the right, and now we're just gonna continue doing a normal fishtail braiding technique all the way to the ends and secure the ends with an elastic. You wanna make sure that you use low elevation, so you don't wanna pull it out, you wanna pull it down. Okay, so to detail this look off, I'm just gonna take the end of a weaving comb and just simply kind of spread the hair, make sure that it's nice and even on each side. We want it to look really loose and that it's just kind of draping um, across the hair. But you also wanna make sure that it's nice and even. And now to make our fishtail braid just a little bit more dramatic, I'm just gonna pull it out just slightly. This is just gonna help thicken it up. 
All right, so now that we've created a nice little mermaid fishtail braid, we've secured the ends with an elastic, we're gonna create another fishtail braid on the ends just for a little bit of added drama. So all we're gonna do is gather all the hair loosely together on the ends, exactly where we have our elastic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and split that hair in half. I'm just gonna do a simple fishtail braiding technique, but a little bit on the looser side. So I'm gonna take a small piece of hair from our right, going up and over to our left. A small piece of hair from our left, going up and over to the right. I'm just gonna continue that same technique until we get to the ends. And it's okay if a few little pieces are falling out, it's just gonna add a little bit of softness around her face. Okay, now we're getting to the ends. I'm just gonna go ahead and secure the ends with an elastic. I wanna leave enough space on the ends to be able to pull out the fishtail braid a little bit and give it a little bit of a tousled feel. All right, so to finish this look off, I'm just gonna use a little bit of hairspray just to smooth any of those flyaways down and really help hold our fishtail braid. And that is about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little fun mermaid fishtail braid. I just really love this look and it's perfect for spring and summertime. So make sure to subscribe to my channel for all sorts of hair love and definitely check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I got it all and I'll go ahead and put the links below and I'll see you guys soon.